Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck are you? Let me dry them up. Too cold. Now go too deep, you know. Yeah, yeah, fair watch it, you know. Our troops, see that? Apple cider vinegar and our troops. Come up at right, make them get saturated in the gravy and all of that. On today's episode of the Jamaican Cooking Journey, I'll be sharing with you a video. It is a cooking video, but we are going to be more focusing on the pot that we are be making the food in. I'm going to be making for you some curry chicken. And I know some people are going to come and say, Miss Debbie, I'm going to tell you my curry chicken, ma'am. I have to make the curry chicken in it. So I have here, this is about five to six pounds of seasoned um, chicken for curry. Now, I want to bring your attention to the pot. This is a an enamel cast iron pot. And I want to share with you how these pots cook some people might know some people might not i am learning about them i have been investing in them and i am learning remember we have cast iron and we have enamel cast iron this is enamel it is coated with the enamel on the out and on the in okay so the cast iron is not coated with the enamel and I know you're going to bring Jesse into reference, but uh, let me tell you, Jesse is not cast iron. Jesse is aluminum. For the old time, long time, aluminum here. Jesse is not cast iron. These are way more weighty than Jesse. The covers are, the pots are, the bottom and the covers. Now, what I want to say to you, they are pretty weighty. Let me tell you, say weighty. You have to have an an. You know, if you have a bad wrist or a bad shoulder. In fact, I know two people that bought them and they returned them. They said they didn't know it was that weighty. So, but they, to me, they cook nice. They do nice stews. And I'm doing the curry chicken in this one for you. They hold eat most of all. They trap a lot of steam. Okay? And I'm going to show you when you cook in them, how they can cook with like less liquid less what this they make their own liquid as you know that steam thing there so i'm gonna show you in this video how it works so i want to put my meat this is like i put a little oil in there so this is my seasoned and they take you know it is you're not hearing anything they are very thick it takes a pretty long time for you to hear a sizzle but i did not just want to like put it too hot and so forth so this is what i am putting in there because i know the nature of it i'm gonna rinse my seasoning bowl at this point with a little hot water you may want a little hot water you know when i cook in jesse i show you how to add a little water from time to time at water but what i definitely want to show you how 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 how, how, how this thing trap traps steam and cook without you wanting little or no liquid at all so let me um just put a little because i don't want to put too much because as it when it goes inside there it starts making its own it starts springing its own so i don't want to put too much and then we end up with our one bag of water okay i tried it also i tried a different one for roasting okay and it was pretty good too so maybe in the future i'll share with you one that we roast something in and how it treats this whole roasting process so you put your thing in there and you gotta do it as with any other thing remember a wooden spoon or plastic for this you don't use the um metal spoon because you know you don't want to go get the inner meal all damaged and all of that and they have them as you know they have them in brand they have them in not brand this is not one of the brand okay so you see what i have there look at the this next to no liquid in there so i'm gonna cover this down for about 15 minutes on a medium to low heat you don't do these things on high hmm? 
they can also be used in the oven too so i'm gonna put the cover on the cover is pretty weighty too so so it is properly locked and it is gonna stay there and produce its own liquid in the form of steam and as i said before there is nothing better to get through your cooking than steam no um if you cook with slow cooker you'd realize too that your slow cooker are uh, slow cooker is very weighty and if you lift that sort of ceramic are uh, i don't know what it is in in a mill or what inside there i think it's ceramic and something not in a mill only okay you will find out that the outer part that that, that the motor is on it's pretty light it's just that part down in there that has that weight and that is why a slow cooker gives you that sort of cooking but it is called a slow cooker it cooks it slow so we are gonna leave this curry chicken in in this cast iron aluminum in this um in a mill cast iron pot and i'm gonna show you it i'm not gonna open it until about 15 minutes time okay so i'll come back then okay now so we are at like 15 minutes in and let me show you what is happening look at that do you remember the amount of liquid that we left with look at that and that curry chicken looks so beautiful look at this i i hope you are following the video and you are seeing what is happening it is cooking with this trapped steam in there family you see that i'll have to hold it it's slippery at the bottom look at it you see what i'm talking about there is literally enough liquid because as it is there as it covers and continues cooking it is building steam okay so right here i have some potatoes i haven't cut them too too small because i'm gonna be adding my potatoes now and i will not be adding any additional liquid so you know you can do your curry chicken with your chicken stock or your water i'm just gonna get my potatoes all evened out among my chicken and i'm gonna cover it and i'm gonna leave it for another 15 to 20 minutes and when i return you will see how this thing is gonna just come all together we may need a little water we may not this is the beauty of the enamel cast iron cooking I have tried it and I have decided to share with you. I want you to take a look at what is happening there, the amount of liquid that is there. Now I'm gonna cover and I am gonna remember to be on medium low, not high. So, oh wow, I'm so used to Jesse. So where is all this is it? And it's, you see the lid, all the lid is made. Yeah, so it fits and this is it. I'll catch you in the next clip okay now fam so this is about another 15 to 20 minutes after and I did not put any more liquid now look at this wow you see that dad you see that yes yeah mm. stirring from the bottom mm -hmm. yeah look at this this is all flavors mm -hmm. family look at the amount of gravy these are for the long belly people let me know we love the gravy so you want to you want to make sure that you are stirring from the bottom now at this point you want to go to the lowest with your eat hmm? yeah because you want the potatoes them to finish cooking and the, the chicken supposed to almost finish cook now so you want to stir up yeah you might get a little sticking down in the bottom there because you know we are cooking curry so look at this and i would like to encourage anyone if you have had any of these pots and you have used it for anything you can comment and share with us and if you know about cooking you will see that our curry chicken is being cooked it's almost cooked no i don't cook, cook, cook curry chicken until it starts pulling away i really don't do that i don't like that no so look at this you see this this is all flavors because it is extra flavor because we didn't have to add any additional liquid okay dad like the water yeah. and so and our potatoes are getting all that tender too you can see it it is in a mill cast iron if you use the cast iron you would have to keep seasoning each time you use it and wash it 
you know these don't require all I do you know this you see this little part right here when I wash and I would just use a little olive oil and a piece of antowil and just keep it greased and just rub it right along here but the direct cast I know you'd have to season it each time you use it so nothing is wrong it cooks just as good too look at this so this is our curry chicken in our inner milk cast hand if you have if you have not I would encourage you to invest in as much as you can they are weighty though I know they are weighty people with um, that as their um, their pot filler um, pot filler faucets over the stove you would not have to worry don't try to lift it with the cover and the pot on at the same time it's really weighty okay unless you had a strong on somebody there. always lift the cover off and it goes well in the oven it can go up to 550 which is broil and I think I don't know maybe our later stoves now like electric and other stoves they go further than 550 but we know that back in the days the old long time analog stove the highest was broil which would be 550 so these can go up to 550 in the oven so you know they are pretty durable with heat so I'm gonna leave it when you see me next I'll have some of this curry chicken plate up for you with some good old white rice so we have turned our heat down to the lowest leaving it to simmer let me give a look at the gravy again let me give it in a regular spoon look at this we add no more than what you see we use there look at this okay so I'm just showing you that these pots they are they cook really nice you know I have never tried rice and peas if you did you can let me know soups and stews I guess they are famous for that so I'll catch you in the next clip all done let me turn my flame off and dusty one last tear potatoes are cooked wow wow and I'm gonna use my spoon because you know you have got to steer with a wooden I would say just wooden there I don't think they have any plastic spoons that are this sturdy okay no sticking to the bottom right there look at this this is a beautiful pot of curry chicken look at this gravy look at this curry gravy look at it look at how rich the color of this curry is and today when I used to be in the business of providing lunch or catering for office people whenever I have curry chicken on my menu just sharing with you I have a few people I was always warned when I had curry chicken on my menu Miss Debbie do not put no vegetable into my curry chicken and rice please allow me ma'am to enjoy my curry chicken and my rice but no one of vegetable I get in my way I'll be catering to some of those people today if you are one of those people that when you cook your curry chicken and your white rice Jamaican style you don't want no vegetable I get in your way comment so let's get some of this in we are catering to those people today look at this if we do make mess we can always clean that plate let's get some of the potatoes up for you and I like that a lot of gravy miss Debbie whole heap of gravy that we say and we want the gravy wear on top of our rice from my kitchen to yours from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table to your plate and most of all to your stomach it is in a meal cast iron curry chicken done just for you I've added no vegetable just enjoy thanks for the love thanks for the support I will do for you my puppies are there in the video in the background don't mind that they are young if you would like me to do the one that we roast in I'll show you how it can make roasting be ready in an instant you can put in the oven too we could probably try something in the oven thanks for the love thanks for the support remember to be you do you most of all love you some enamel cooking cast iron curry chicken and white rice remember to check in the description of this and all my other videos and lives there will be the link to everything that you want to get to me